Welcome back, Zero Gate fans. This is quarterfinals of the March 2014 1v1 tournament. It's going to be between Silencer and Lowry. As you saw the last game, Kmart and Lowry valiantly fought, but Kmart ultimately did not quite seem to know how to handle a late game, especially on Ravaged. So now we have Silencer and Lowry fighting each other. It's going to be a very interesting match, very even. We'll be on intersection for the first game. Let's begin. So Silencer starting out at the southeast corner of the map going for cloaky bots while Lowry in the northwest corner going for heavy tanks which is a bit more typical in this map as you can see the map is kind of flat there are ramps yes but it's pretty flat overall so typically players will go for vehicles in this map I'm a little bit surprised that silencer is going for cloakies getting a couple of early glaze just for scouting not bothering to build up too much more on wait mode for now using his resources to build up more resources Lowry on the other hand going for an early panther and getting his metal extractors a little bit slower. Sounds are getting his metal extractors a little bit faster as a result of investing a bit more money in that. Both players are making nice use of the recon comms ability to jump. Silencer, by the way, is going for laser E cell while Lowry going for LBB or particle beam and E cell. Sorry, too many acronyms there. A light particle beam is definitely an interesting weapon. It's fairly new, but basically seen as about as powerful as the beam laser, not more powerful. There were some, there were some assertions that it was broken when it was first introduced. I remember, but not sure what the opinion is now. I think both it and beam laser are considered the top weapons to use. And silencer very quickly pushing out. He's, wow, bit surprised he's pushing out so much metal into his factories. He's not got all that much metal income. He only has eleven metal income right now. I guess he's just planning on getting more metal income soon and decides to have build power pushed in, but that's bizarre. But yeah, he's focused heavily on pushing in metal that he doesn't have. Really odd. And Rector's okay, now there we go. Rector's are building up some more metal. Actually, Rector and the Commander building up more metal, so Silence are very quickly expanding all at once, while Lowry expanding a bit more incrementally. Getting a couple early metal extractors and actually getting a slight lead on metal as a result. He has a little over 12 metal right now. Getting Kodachi as well. He has 12 compared to 11. And the Panther coming in here for Lowry. He's gonna, he is going to see this. No, he's not. He just barely missed the Rector. Lowry did not get that free Rector. Oh, that's got to hurt. But Lowry is turning around. He should be able to find it this time around. And now he's going for it. Now he's going to take it out. For free. Getting that Rector out, so stopping some of Silencer's expansion attempts. Now, the rest of Silencer's expansion attempts are going to be successful, and Silencer is, once again, even with economy with Lowry. Silencer very much focusing heavy on defense, though. Warrior coming up as well for Lowry, or sorry, for Silencer. He doesn't want to get stuck by Lowry's Panther. And Warriors have a decent amount of health, so they will be able to survive a couple shots, but even then, it's not easy. Panthers deal a huge amount of damage, so... I mean, against Glaze, see, they deal 220 damage off the bat and 11 CD parallels. I think I think the Warriors actually won't even last. Perfectly honest, I think they end up just taking all the damage anyway, still being paralyzed. It'll take four shots to die, but they'll be paralyzed that entire time. And Kodachi coming in as well. So Lowry just trying to make sure that Silencer can't do much. Very focused on raiding. Silencer are much more focused on getting an early stable economy going. Not so focused on making his raiding work, but... Instead, just focus on defense. At this point, Lowry is probably a little bit ahead. Definitely ahead offensively. And Kodachi coming in, getting rid of this defender, going to get rid of this metal extractor. And there's a glaive here that's not really going to do too much for it. Now, if the Kodachi hits the glaive, that's going to be a problem. The glaive needs to not get hit. Oh, the glaive needs to not get in that fire either. But no, Kodachi goes with the glaive instead of the metal extractor. I mean, it does have enough health. It can go with the Metal Extractor. And that Metal Extractor is down. Sounds like losing another one. What does Lowry see? Lowry sees very little. Lowry does not see what Silencer has. Silencer does not see pretty much anything at all. That radar is back in the back of his base. Getting blocked off by terrain. Not doing a whole lot. Hmm. Interesting. New lampposts. That's actually a new thing, I think. Must be a new ver... It's... A new version of this is V3. Oh, V3, okay. So no one ever really used the lamppost before. 
Yeah, reclaimable lampposts. So there's some reclaim for all these workers here. They want to get some. And Silencer's going to need it more than Lowry is. Now, Silencer able to get rid of one of these welders. Not a bad thing to do either, but... That's still... Well... Oh. That's still one welder compared to metal extractors. I mean, the thing is, Lowry actually is still slightly behind, though. Surprisingly enough, Lowry is a bit behind. His Kodachis were not used to raid. He is, however, going for a comm snipe. Silencer, he has E-Cell, and all of his energy is E-Cell. He has no energy structures whatsoever. Jumping away from there, however, not quite enough. And actually, Kodachis and Panthers coming in to get rid of what is there. One of the Panthers accidentally gets itself set on fire by the Kodachi Fireball, but still, that's... That's damage that sounds or could have done without. Lowry, once again, is the economic advantage. And like I said, Ashino Warriors do not really get stunned in one shot. They get stunned in two shots. And then with the Kodachi support, they burn to death. So, not great. Best thing that Lowry has... Sorry, that sounds has going for him is that Lowry is killing himself. Lowry right now is his own worst enemy at the moment. Silencer is taking a lot of damage as commander, though. The Panther not quite able to get a clear shot to attack, and now it is... That's getting stunned, but Silencer jumping his commander away just in time. It's taking a fair amount of damage, but it is able to survive. And the loss of the commander is not going to be the case here. However, the loss of Lowry's army is going to be fairly big. At this point, there's a slight military advantage for Silencer. Those warriors are starting to pay off. He's getting them in numbers, and they're going to be able to work. He's going to do a lot of damage, but that was like four, uh, 500 health. 500 out of 1,800 health. Remember, it's a Recon Com, too, and Recon Coms have the lowest health of any commander chassis. Silencer, however, clearly getting a little bit scared and realizes he needs to build some power structures and starts doing so immediately. Getting a lot of power plants set up, just in case his commander does, in fact, die. Another Banisher, actually, not even Panther, just Lowry appears to have given up on Panthers completely. Go for a Banisher instead. He's raided all he feels he needs to. And, by the way, Silencer has his Rector here. That is a nice place to have a Rector. He can see everything that Lowry has set up there. Lowry, on the other hand, doesn't really know what's going on up here. I mean, he, see, he saw what happened before, but he doesn't know what happens now. When Silencer's going to go for metal. Admittedly, Lowry has a metal advantage, but he is playing heavy tanks. That is important to note. Lowry is playing heavy tanks against Silencer playing Cloakies, and Cloakies are much cheaper. Granted, they're cheaper for a reason. Like, heavy tanks are more expensive for a reason. They're more powerful individually, but... That's something to point out, is that heavy tanks are more expensive, so getting individual units for map control is a bit harder to do with heavy tanks than it is with Cloakies. And it's actually a little bit surprising, given that how much more Silencer has invested into defenses than Lowry. I mean, Silencer has mostly defenders, mind you, not so much in the way of laser turrets, but he had a lot of Lotuses around the map and defenders. Admittedly, Lowry is investing as much as he needs to. He is getting Lotuses around the map. Definitely worth doing, but... Still, those Lotuses... That's what you do as a heavy tank player. You need to get defenses around the map because your units cannot move fast enough and be everywhere at once. Cloaky bot units can move, or at least glaives, can move fast enough and be everywhere at once. Light vehicles can, for the most part, move around and be everywhere at once, at least for scorches and darts. But not heavy tanks. Especially not when there's ramps involved. However, Reapers and Banshers coming in, trying to deal with this. There are glaives coming up to try to stop this assault coming in. Silencer is well aware of it, thanks to his radar, but... One Banisher takes out a glaive. I mean, the thing is, the Banishers are mostly about AoE. Now, Reapers, on the other hand, are mostly about basically one-shotting everything. Assuming they hit. Mechs is they basically one-shot. Actually, I think they've been nerfed. I'm trying to think of it. No, 640 shot. No, that's... That's definitely enough to one-shot a mechs. And going through a base, very powerful use unit to have, and the Panther, that's what Lowry needed. Another Panther to get rid of the Glaives. Avengers coming up as well. Avengers and Shadows. Silencer, on the other hand, not fact switching. He's pushing a lot of metal. He's been pushing a lot of metal into his factory's entire game. Getting a lot of Glaives, too, to try to deal with this. Not a bad idea, seeing that Glaives really are going to be the thing that Heavy Tank's going to have a hard time dealing with. He needs a lot of Panthers to deal with these Glaives, or Kodachis. And Lowry has neither. He has Banishers, but they're much more useful Riot Sport Tank against... Like, the Riot Sport Tank, yes, but they're much more useful against larger units. But we'll see how they work with the Glaives, and... Not terrible, but their AoE is not great. The Banishers are... Useful, yes. Most cost-effective? Well, it's what Lowry has out right now, so they better be. <laughs> In the south, it looks like sounds are... Well, Lowry's not going for it. Sounds are like he might be vulnerable to that, but he is not being attacked there. On the other hand, northeast is where we still see Lowry is pushing it, and Sounds are moving as a commander. He's at level 2, 
He has armor and movement speed increase, so he is a bit tougher. More HP, more move speed, able to get in and out faster. That's definitely useful. And his commander is getting healed up. Also very useful, but it looks like Lowry... Is he going to move down? Yes, he is. He is moving down to deal with these, and that is going to work. And it looks like that... Well, it's going to be somewhat useful, but right now... Silencer taking advantage of the fact that the units are kind of in cooldown, but his commander taking a lot of damage. That's once again... Well, actually not quite as bad as it was the first time. At this point, Silencer's economy is only half invested in his commander, and these banishers actually look like they were the right option. Because, frankly, you don't see a lot of heavy tank versus cloaky, so I wasn't sure completely. But yeah, it looks like the banishers really do work. At least when the glaives come up like that. I mean, the Avengers... Okay, Avengers are coming in here. Looks like they are going for the commander. No, they're going for metal extractors instead. Going to try to snipe out the economy. Not going for the commander quite yet. Instead, Lowry just tearing apart what Silencer has. Winning by attrition rather than anything else. Now, Silencer, now there's the Shadows. Okay, those Shadows are going to be used against the Commander. The Avengers may not be. The Shadows most definitely will. Silencer knows this is coming. He's getting Defenders up. He needs to get Hacksaws up. Hacksaws or Chainsaws, that's what he needs up. Because Defenders are not going to be enough. And this level 2 Commander has nothing against air. I don't think Commanders have anti-air weapons to begin with. That might have changed recently, but I don't think they do. I think... Silencer is going to lose this game. If he's going for Zeus, he's getting... I mean, that's definitely useful, but it's not going to be enough. And the commander goes down. Shadows aren't even necessary. The only advantage to this is that it's going to kill off these... No, damage these Reapers in response. Not going to kill them. Then Zeus are going to die as a result, and these Reapers can be healed up. That's just going to do it. I mean, actually, this Reaper's going to... No, this Reaper has 2,000 health. It's fine. It's perfectly fine. The Zeus's have no chance. Like, the Reaper has as much health left as the Zeus has in total same time center of the map okay it doesn't matter silencer throws in the towel that is game game one goes to Lowry nicely done Lowry so we'll have game two shortly once they figure out what map to play it on and until then stay tuned welcome back 0k fans this is game two of Lowry versus silencer the March 2014 1v1 tournament now, game one was, well, Lowry won. It was, a, it was a tough struggle, but Lowry still won. Also, Mighty Sheep has won his game against Black Touchy, so he's on to the semifinals. Google Frog, Sackdoth, I'm not sure one of them is, I think Sackdoth is not here. I'm not sure about Google Frog and Yogg-Sothoth, I believe they are playing. But anyway, we're on game two for Silencer and Lowry. This is going to be on Quicksilver. So, Quicksilver is a map that is... Kind of simple, very flat. As a result, we see that Lowry is going to be fighting against Silencer's vehicles. Lowry not choosing a factory yet. That's really surprising. What is he planning on doing? Not gone for a factory quite yet. Might be... I was going to expect maybe jumpies. They actually work pretty well on this map, but... Nope, Cloakies on the low ground. Interesting choice. It's certainly going to be a closer factory than it would be otherwise, but the thing is, these darts can tear apart... Well, actually, no, they can't. Scorchers can tear this apart. Scorchers could tear apart this defender right here easily, but Dart's not so much. One defender missile kills a dart, or very nearly does. And this defender is fully loaded, too. Three little green dots, it's fully loaded. But Glaive coming in to tear apart that dart, finished off, and the defender tries to deal with it. Not quite able to, hides behind the metal extractor, but dies before the metal extractor does. Two Glaives coming in from Lowry, trying to get into Silencer's base. Point out that Lowry did win the last game, so he needs to win one more game, and Silencer will be out of the tournament. Otherwise, it will be all on Silencer to get back in. I mean, the thing is, if Silencer wins, this is going to be, once again, a Game 3 situation. Otherwise, it's going to be just two games, and Lowry's out. And Lowry is going for this raid here. It's going to be tough, though. Silencer does have a Beam Laser E-Cell Commander. Those Glaives are not going to have an easy time, and they are not going to bother. They're getting out of there wisely. Silencer, on the other hand, not going for raids. He is going for Scorchers. Possibly going for a Calm Dive. It looks like he's going to focus on defense right now. Not going to focus on attacking. Letting Lowry take the map and might not be the best idea to do, but hey, it's it's that or he loses his base, so there really isn't much option there. That being said, Lowry not going for this either. He's not foolish. He knows not to get in too much of a tangle with Scorch with Glaives. However, he is losing a couple of them. I'm sure he was, he was not paying attention to those. That 
was a small mistake. Probably won't be a big deal because the Glaives are still being able to get in. The Scorchers are out of position, getting split up. They have to move back in. Only two of them near the base. The Glaive, if it microbes properly, if it kites it properly, it should actually have no problem getting rid of one of the melee extractors. And the Glaives need to be in a line. There we go. One Scorcher down. Another Scorcher not able to shoot through the trees too easily. Unfortunately, gets too close to the Glaive, and that Glaive dies. Scorchers, of course, deal more damage nearby. Those Glaives nicely micro, but Lowry getting him caught in a corner. And this is it. This Glaive is moving into a corner. Cannot get out. The Scorchers finish it off, but... Well, not great. It's... Uh, Silencer didn't lose too much in that particular engagement. Remained fairly even. I think at this point, Lowry and Silencer... Nothing really changed at that point. However, Lowry does have more map control. Like, Silencer was kind of forced into his base. These Glaives weren't, didn't deal a whole lot of damage, but they did cause Silencer to secede a lot of... I'm sorry. To secede a lot of the territory, not to secede it. You never claimed it in the first place. You can't... There's no secession when you don't... When you don't have it. And what would he secede from anyway? He's he's playing his own thing. He would separate to another AI-controlled army. Just half his army rebels. All of a sudden, civilization-style rules. If your army isn't happy, they rebel. They form an AI player side. And becomes a 1v1v1. Just randomly. There's Glaives. Not in a good position. Cannot deal with this. Glaives are not frontline assault units. They never are. They just can't be. It doesn't work that way. Glaives, instead, are raiders. As the title suggests, they are raiders. They are not assault units. They can, against other raiders, do a pretty decent job, but against Scorchers, no. Scorchers, yeah, they're called raiders, but they're pretty much riots, honestly, for the amount of damage they do. I mean, from a vehicle class perspective, yes, they are raiders, but against bots, they're riots. Tick is up, however, and is not moving forward. At this point, Lowry not sending that forward to deal with the Scorchers. If he did, that would be huge. Okay, there it goes. That Tick is moving. That we want to pay close attention to, because that is going to be a game changer if it works out. And the Scorchers, however, are getting distracted by the Glaives. The Tick moving in position, and is it going to go off? It goes off, takes a couple Scorchers, but not enough. However, Silence's Commander is in a bad spot. The Glaives going for it, but they are being knocked away by the Scorchers. Almost all the Glades go down, but the Scorchers, half of them, are down as well. Not a bad army split, but Ticks have been nerfed, so that wasn't the most surprising thing. A couple Ticks would have been really effective in that situation, though. Like two instead of one? That would have probably stunned the entire army, positioned properly. So, Scorcher is... Well... I think Silencer won that engagement. Very slightly, but I think he won that engagement. However, once again, Lowry's still expanding behind this. Lowry effectively has this area. This area here is his, this area here is his. Well, this area here is softly his, so you'll have to take it. This area here, however, is, there's a lot of metal here. There's, this whole area is definitely his. So Lowry has a lot of map control. He hasn't actually cashed in on it yet. He hasn't turned it into metal, but he can. Lowry, however, is moving his commander forward, surprisingly enough. I'm not sure why he is doing that. But, like I said, keeping the pressure on Silencer means that Lowry does have a lot of map under his control. Mostly using that for reclaim, though. Interesting. He's not actually building up a lot on top. Oh, no, he is. There's just there's a tree, as you can see, on top of this metal spot. And in order to build that, that tree has to be reclaimed. And the next one, and the next one. Quicksilver's a very forested map. So, you need to get the trees. If you don't get the trees, it's... I mean, if you get the trees, that's a lot of energy. That's good. Helps for overdrive. But at this point, Lowry actually not able to build up too heavily because... I mean, compared to Silencer, that is. Same economy, pretty much, because Silencer has a lot of reclaim to work with. This whole field of reclaim, Silencer has taken, and Lowry's not punishing him for it. Not taking out this Mason at all, so Silencer actually keeping fairly steady. Although Silencer has been wasting... He is accessing metal, that is one thing. Silencer's only been pushing 15 metal to his factory, while Lowry has not been pushing that much. He's pushing 10, but he's also been not accessing elsewhere. He's building up energy. He's on the low ground, surprisingly enough, building wind generators. That's not the best place to put them. And Slasher's coming in to try to deal with the Glaives. One Slasher won't be enough. The Scorchers really are the best bet he has for that number. But the Slasher is able to take care of this Lotus decently well. But it looks like, there we go, now punishing Silencer for that reclaim. Kind of late in, though, but still punishing him eventually. And there we go. Lowry investing heavily into his factory, now getting that. And now also cashing in on all this here. Right. Lowry has gone forward, taken all this, taken all these metal extraction points. Taking the one in the back door. Not taking any over here. The melee, that's probably the least safe place to take. Glaive's coming in, trying to go for a comp snipe, and he's he's not going to succeed. Is he going to succeed? 
Maybe- Yes! Last Glaive kills the calm. That was... Oh, well, level 2 calm too. That is huge. The sounds are... Half of his energy economy just dropped down. And I realized I just said yes there. Yeah, I'm not just rooting for Lowry. It's just that... That was a clutch situation and I just... Wouldn't matter if it was Silencer's commander or Lowry's commander. Still, that was just a clutch situation. Actually, come to think about Silencer, are about to do the same thing. Trying to take out Lowry's commander. Definitely taking out Lowry's base, but a tick. Very well-placed tick, along with some Zeus's to finish that off. The Scorcher's not able to do that much. Ouch. Silencer not able to get through there. After losing his own commander as well, and losing a ton of energy economy as a result. I mean, he can reclaim the commander, but that's metal. That's not energy. He's not going to get any energy. As you can see, the little lightning bolt there, that's the energy reclaim. Zero. There's none. Silence are trying to do what he can with raids, though. Trying to basically cut through the undefended area that Lowry had. Because Lowry, he had soft map control, but he kind of lost it. When he lost those glaives, that map control went away. And the Scorchers are taking advantage of this. Silence are just trying to bring Lowry down to his level. Because that's how Zero K works. It's much more important to destroy your opponent's economy than it is to make up your own. That being said... These Scorchers will not fare well against Warriors. I guess everything else, they're okay, but not against Warriors. There's enough defense stores in the main base that is not going to work out. Lotus is no Stardust, mind you, but Lotus is yes. And Silence are just raiding out. Nicely nicely done on raiding. Very nicely done, but that may not be enough. I mean, at this point, Lowry still has a lot of metal he can pour into this factory. The commander is being reclaimed. The metal is being pushed into the factory, but the energy is kind of the bottleneck. More wind generators, however, are going to even that up. And yes, in case you're wondering, that was a plus 14 comp. That was E Cell Com. Plus 14 energy. Plus 14 energy. That was painful. Silencer still hasn't recovered yet. At this point, Lowry is well ahead in energy, about even in metal, but energy is right now. Well, actually, not anymore. Silencer's bottom line right now is metal, but basically it's energy. He can reclaim up the metal. He can reclaim up the energy. He has a ton of forests around. And all these forests, that's a lot of energy he could reclaim to. I'm a little surprised he hasn't done that yet. He is now, yes. No, he's only doing it because he wants to build wind generators. He's not actually reclaiming heavily. I'm really surprised at that. He could build a few, like, three or four masons, just have them on reclaim duty across all of this stuff here. That's a lot of energy, just getting back in the game there. And it looks like, however, he is... Whether or not he's trying to, he is doing that. He is getting a lot of energy here, and it's probably from Reclaim. I can't imagine how else it would come in. It looks like Lowry trying to push in. It's a little tough to go in for the kill, though. When you're playing Cloaky Bots, going into that final assault is a difficult thing to do. But he's building up for it, going for a raid instead, trying to just attrition out, and now soft pressure has been reestablished. There's all these glaives coming into the, now the south, and that is going to deal with us. That is going to leave Lowry with most of the map once again. That being said, Lowry still has to deal with the fact that his army is not great for dealing with Scorchers. It's okay, but not great. Another Scorcher dive coming in. I think Silencer will make it this time. He is going for the kill. Lowry only has a level 1 commander, and that commander is going to die. Lowry loses his commander. Silencer takes it, but Silencer's still a bit behind. However, Lowry... Wow, all of his energy economy taking damage too. So, Lowry now in the situation that Silencer was in before, but Lowry does have more soft pressure. He lost far fewer for cost of his army. For a lot of his cost for army, a lot of Scorchers went down, Zeus's are still in play, they're gonna be able to deal with this Slasher, no problem, and the Warriors can deal with the Scorchers with some issues, but not a whole lot. Especially with nice use of the Wreckers there, although admittedly, I think there's two, they're too tall for the Wreckers to matter. Yeah, they're too tall. But still, that's nicely done by Silencer, but even then, Silencer are getting his Mason cornered here. Some of the Glaives, a couple of Glaives going off to kill that Mason, the rest going north to deal with the rest of Silencer's army. Which won't be a problem. These glaives will tear apart these scorchers. Well, I mean, with kiting, actually, the scorchers might be fine. But one of the scorchers kites the wrong way, gets killed, but the glaives are actually moving to their death. Unfortunately, they're getting a bit surrounded. Once again, getting a good surround, however, for Lowry, and that surround is going to finish this off. I think Lowry's going to take this game at this point. Well, no, not quite. Not quite able to push in. In fact, it may actually be anyone's game at this point. More Zeus is being pushed forward, though. Lowry does have a stronger energy economy still than Silencer does. Now, Silencer can reclaim out, and he's not doing so. Where is he getting this energy economy from? He's a massive energy economy, but he's got no reclaim. I guess it's all just... Oh, it's all just power generators. He just has enough wind generators, and they're moving fast enough that he's got 72 power. So his power is back up and running. Lowry's not so much, but Lowry... Like I said, he's in the same situation. And actually, this caretaker is reclaiming. It should be building. This caretaker needs to assist. 
because that's only 10 metal. Like, at this point, Lowry's excessing, but now pushing all that excess back into the factory. This Zeus will come up quickly enough, and I think the Zeus's will be able to push out. The Scorcher's still coming in heavily, though. Silencer, not quite got the same build rate as Lowry, but it's pretty close. Actually, I think Lowry... Now, with the Reclaim, I think that Lowry is going to be able to get back up in this. Lowry is moving in with the Zeus's. They can be dived, though. Like, Scorcher Dive can take out a Zeus. It's a little bit tricky against multiple Zeus's, but against one is not a problem. And at the same time, Glaive's trying to... Glaive's are sneaking past. One Scorcher trying to get in the way, but not enough. And it looks like the Glaive will be able to take out this Metal Extractor. No, not quite. The Scorcher distracting it. Not going with the Metal Extractor. Lowry needs to set a target. If he wants to kill something, he needs to use a set target command. That's very important to be done. And it's right here. Set target. Set that to a hockey and use that. Because setting a target is very important for dealing with, especially raiders. Using raiders, it's very important that you have told them what to shoot. But like I said, one Zeus getting dived out. The rest of them are, however, able to deal with these scorches pretty well. Unfortunately, missing a lot of the time. No, too, too many misses. Those Zeuses are not dealing with this. But a tick in the back is. Now, Zeus just needs to finish these guys off. Not going to be enough, though. More Rectors coming in. Looks like Lowry is taking the map. He really wants to make sure he has map control here. Getting all the metal he can. And he needs to really get this back here. This is the safer area he can get. At this point, Lowry is only slightly ahead. And a lot of this game, Lowry's been only slightly ahead. Even with his rating, even the fact that he's been winning a lot of engagements, even with all the map control he has. Scorch is coming in. One Lotus is going to... Actually, two Lotus is going to take them out. Not quite. One of them barely survives. Two health left, but... That's enough. And no defenses in the main base. Glaives, however, will be enough to get rid of this. Not after, not until he loses a metal extractor, though. That's one big thing. And Silencer still reclaiming. Now, Silencer is mostly relying on reclaim, mind you. Just a lot of his metal right now is coming from reclaim. Lowry, on the other hand, is relying pretty heavily on metal extractors. Although, actually, reclaim as well, but he has a lot of reclaim in his base. So both players relying quite a lot on reclaim. Especially since, once again, Silencer's gone around the map and torn this apart. And Lowry's throwing in the towel! Lowry calls it! Oh my. So we're going on to game three. Lowry figures he can't get this. I figured it was Lowry's game to win, but really doesn't matter if he couldn't get the raiding in the back. If he got a raider in the back here, especially after he had killed the commander, that would have been huge. But no, unfortunately, he didn't manage to do that. And he got raided out too much in the back. A couple of LLTs around every single one of these would have been perfect. But alas, that is not to be. So Lowry is even out... I should say, Silencer evens out the match. We are on to game three. So stay tuned for that. That'll be starting in just a minute or less. Welcome back, Zero K fans, to game three of Lowry versus Silencer. I didn't expect this to happen because Lowry won so convincingly in game one and he was in a great spot in game two. But we are on to game three on Wanderlust and point out that Randy is now playing Flipstep as well. Google Frog, he's going to be playing whoever wins between Dancer and Fred. Not sure who that's going to be, but he did beat Dogsathoth. So that's... He is in the quarterfinals. Mighty Sheep apparently is not supposed to be in the semifinals, by the way. Apparently that was a mistake on Challenge's part. Who's the one that's doing the brackets here. Challenge.com. So apparently Mighty Sheep is actually playing with Black Touchy for Game 2 right now. So this may change. This is inaccurate. Anyway, the game has begun, and we are... On Wanderlust. Lowry going for heavy tanks again. Why is he going for heavy tanks? Cloaky bots make more sense. Silencer is going for Cloaky bots the west side of the map. Lowry in the east side of the map going for heavy tanks. I... Well, I mean, heavy tanks are not bad. It's just this map, you can see, very hilly, very full of ramps. It's also very full of choke points. It's a very... It's a map... It's a lot of cliffs, too. Like, it's... A map that I guess tanks could work on. It's just... I don't know why Lowry's going for that. Especially... Given that this is game three, like he has to win this if he wants to continue on in the tournament. And like I said, Lowry and Silencer, I'm not sure which one of them after Randy is the favorite, like the favorite for second place. But this is something of a finals before the finals to an extent because of the fact that Silencer and Lowry are both quite good. I should point out that God and Drone, the winners in second place of the last 1v1 tournament, are not playing today. God had a Planetary Annihilation tournament to play, which is much to the mercy of everyone who's playing because <laughs> someone might actually win other than God. Okay, I don't know. I mean, people have been practicing a lot recently. People have been improving a lot, so I imagine that God would actually have a bit of a run for his money. In fact, Randy right now is the top 1v1 player. So that's possibly a shoe-in for him in this tournament. We'll see, though. 
He's against Flipstep right now, and I'm not sure how that's going to go. Probably Randy's going to win, but he is the favorite. Just pointing that out there. After that, Lowry or Silencer? One of the two. Whoever wins this, basically. It looks like Lowry is going to be going for a raid. He's getting his Kodachi in. The thing with Kodachi's, the thing with heavy tanks in general, is that you can't just scout. Like, with other factories, you can send in a cheap raider to scout. Now you send one or two glaives and you can scout. You don't have to build a ton of glaives to raid with. Heavy tanks, not so much. Heavy tanks, if you're going to find out what your opponent's up to, you're raiding them. You just, you just are. You're, you have to have... The, units are that heavy that there's pretty much no choice. However, Silencer is going for a heavy raid and... Oh, right. Cliffs are, in fact, bot pathable. Not vehicle pathable. Like I said, I'm a bit surprised. I believe these cliffs... Double check. These cliffs are... Not. You can see a little bit of purple there. Purple means not pathable. Red means it is just slow. But the Glaives are coming in along the north side of the map. They're going to be attacking pretty heavily. Probably along this ramp down here to attack Lowry's base directly. And Lowry does not have any static defense. He does have his commander out of position. To, where's Oh, his commander's over to the south. His commander is, once again, Light Particle Beam E-Cell. The commander for Silencer is... Beam laser ESL. Both of them are also recon chassis. They really like that recon chassis. They like that jump. Anyway, Kodachi is coming along. Scaring off the Glaives a little bit. Not sure why. The Glaives could probably take it on, but... Warrior definitely can. And that Kodachi is... Not doing a whole lot on its own. Not that I expect it to. It really is a matter of... Support at this point. There's so many units that... Lowry's going to need to have more support forces. The Kodachis and Panthers together should work. And Lowry we did see in the first game. He knows how to use his tanks. He can definitely set up a tank army, and knows how to put them together. Knows when to use them, knows when to push, when to pull back. He's good at this. But what does he see? Right now, he doesn't... He's blind. He's completely blind. Only line of sight. Does not know what his opponent's up to, other than what his units are fighting right now. And what his units are fighting is about to kill his panther, and nearly stun his Kodachi... No, not quite stun his Kodachi. Kodachi's fine. It got up to about 60% stun, but it's fine. But yeah, Panthers on Explosion do have an EMP radius effect, so that's scary to be near. If you're not careful, too many Panthers will stun each other. Oh, and the Kodachi apparently to the south has gone down. That... Yeah, apparently the Kodachi to the south has gone down, in fact. So, Lowry is down a Kodachi or two, getting a gunship plant. Not a bad idea because... Well, he kind of needs some lighter weight forces to just roam around the map and raid. He can't easily get through this glaive line. He sort of can, but the warriors per present a bit of an obstacle. Not to mention the terrain. Like I said, I just don't know why he went for tanks on this map. Even for the fact that there's a lot of places they can maneuver, ramps slow them down a ton. I mean, so they slow down bots as well, but they... It's more important for tanks. The speed is much... Well, light vehicles would be the biggest deal. Still tanks, still a problem. Now, the Kodachis are moving back into the base. Lowry is going heavily defensive here, which is what you do with heavy tanks. Like I said before, in game one, when you're going heavy tanks, you build laser turrets everywhere, which, honestly, in game two, Lowry should have done. Despite going for cloakies, that would have probably given him the game. And Lowry and Silencer, their commanders, meet up. And Silencer is less dependent on the commander for his economy. He's learned from the first two games that he needs to build economy structures independent of his commander, and he has done exactly that. Not a whole lot, but something. Not going to be completely choked out if he loses his commander. And Lowry is much more dependent, but now he's built up more. Okay, he's got... His wind generators are working up, but... I don't know why he's not building the wind generators along this cliff here. They'd basically be untouchable. The Glaives would have no easy way to get to them. I think... Okay, the Glaives could get to them, but it'd be slow. Slower than on the ground, that's for sure. Anyway, we're coming in here. It's not going to last too long, but able to get rid of the metal extractor. Lowry is mo holding... But he's falling behind. He is getting back in economy, and Lowry, that's not going to help him out too much. He needs as much economy as he can get. With heavy tanks, you need more economy. You just need more economy than the other factors to get more units up. But he doesn't have that economy right now, and he's going for Black Dawn. Interesting choice. I, I would have thought he'd gone for Banshees. I'm surprised he didn't go for Banshees, because that is... Really, why wouldn't you? Like, against this sort of... Against this composition, Banshees make more sense. They'd be able to get... I mean, the Warriors would be a problem, yes, but against the Glaives, they'd tear them apart, no problem. And the thing is, the Banshees would cover the raiding ground that your Kodachis are not, because the Kodachis are focused on defense and assault. So I don't know why he's going for Black Dawn. I guess he's going to try to snipe out the Calm, maybe. Are they go for a Calm Snipe or go for a Factory Snipe? Frankly, I think a Factory Snipe would be far more useful than a Calm Snipe against Silencer right now. But a Factory Snipe would not work with a single Black Dawn. Nothing else has been queued. It's not an infinite build. 
And he's only building Kodachis and... That's... What the heck? Kodachis and Welders, that's it. Why is he only going for Kodachis and Welders? Especially against this mixed force here. The Rockers alone are going to be a problem. Like With everything else, there's just no way the Kodachis really have much of a chance. Is Black Dawn going to try? I think first target should be this army. And then after that... Maybe the factor. I mean, the factor is kind of a tough target. There's not a lot of easy targets. The commander is probably the target he's going to go for, I would imagine. But now the Black Dawn is coming, and it is in fact going for this army first, trying to get rid of this. And is it going to undershoot? No, it's fine actually. It does hit the Banshees. Sorry, Black Dawns have a nasty tendency to undershoot sometimes. But no, that does work out, and these warriors will go down. Both the warriors going down. The Rocco not taking too much damage, but the warriors are down, and the Kodachis not enough Rockos to really scare the Kodachis. So that should actually work. And the Banshee, sorry, the Black Dawn, I really wanted to be a Banshee, but no, the Black Dawn is, I don't mean the name, I you know, wanted it to be a dozen Banshees. Black Dawn's going to help out, Reaper's coming in behind that, so Lowry's trying to turn the tables here, trying to go into an offensive mode, and you know that Black Dawn actually worked out. The way it got rid of the Warriors, that helps a lot. Now the Glaives are going to be a threat. Not to the Black Dawn, mind you, the Black Dawn will take care of them a problem, but the Black Dawn needs to be moved to them, and once again, Lowry is blind, he doesn't know what's going on here. He has no clue what's going on. Silencer has much more knowledge. In fact, I think he knows everything other than Lowry's main base. Silencer knows what's going on in this map. Lowry does not. So Silencer knows exactly where to position his forces, where to place everything. Unfortunately, these glaives, their path of least resistance is right through a fireball, right through a lot of fireballs. So these glaives are going to burn to death. Not doing any favors there, but Razor's Kiss has been set up. I Oh, did that get rid of the Black Dawn? Oh, I feel silly. No, it didn't. No, it didn't. The Black Dawn's still alive. It took some damage from it, though, but it is alive. And it's going to be able to get rid of these Rockos. Or the Kodachis will. I mean, the Kodachis don't have an easy time doing so, but... Ah, going downhill, speeds up a bit, and gets to those Rockos. There we go. The Rockos going down. Black Dawn helping out, and the Kodachis will survive that. Now, the Black Dawn is in a great position. It needs to just attack. Go forward, attack this. Oh, the Razor's Kiss is... Or, Razor. It's not called Razor's Kiss anymore. The Razor is getting in the way. The... Oh, the Glaives. Why are the Glaives not helping out here? Oh, the Glaives are helping out a bit. The Kodachi trying to raid out. And Silencer are actually getting behind an economy. The Jethro's are going to take out that Black Dawn. Did a pretty good job, but not nearly enough. Incidentally, the Commander's still alive. As is Lowry's. Both players' Commanders have actually lived a fairly long time. And level 2 with move speed and... HP for Silencer. The Kodachis, one of them survives, the other one goes down. Rocco's trying to deal with it, but not quite there enough. Actually, they might have a chance. Nope, the Glaive's going down, so the Rocco's... Well, the Rocco's are still moving fast enough, but... This one caught out of guard! It's... Gonna live. It's gonna live. It'll be fine. But the second Kodachi actually... No, able to get... Both of them actually were able to get away. How about that? And the Jethro is going to take some damage, but not die. Actually, this Rocco is... Oh, if it's not careful, it might fall into a fireball and die. This one might be going down. Louder's commander coming up for a direct assault. Kodachi trying to help out, but Silencer's commander is not actually in a great... Well, it's not in a case spot. He can jump, of course, so that's going to get him back in the high ground and help out his forces. Lowry, however, coming in from, with Reapers from the north. More Kodachis from the south, and another Black Dawn. At this point, Lowry has taken out, like, as you can see, half the map each. Actually, Lowry's been more than half the map. Silencer has to retreat. These Reapers are going to be able to take out his commander, no problem. The one has to fire high. When they fire high, they're less accurate. But that commander is still down. Lowry ahead for there, but Silencer ahead in economy. Despite losing his commander, he actually has so many solar plants and wind generators. He has so much power infrastructure. I mean, Silencer learned his lesson, that's for sure. He learned his lesson not to rely on his commander for his economy. And that's paying off right now, because he's lost his commander, but he he's only a bit behind in metal, but not much further behind than he was already. That being said, Lowry is still ahead. He's still ahead in metal. He's still a, he's behind in energy, but definitely ahead in metal. The big problem, though, is the fact that he is behind in energy means that he's not overdriving. All of his metal extractors are not going into overdrive mode because he doesn't have the energy to support that. He needs to build more power plants. But at this point, I'm not sure he really cares. He doesn't really need to care too much because he has a massive army advantage. I mean, you just push in from here as long as the Reapers don't die. That's the important thing. The Reapers cannot die. The Kodachi's coming in to support them as well. I'm a bit surprised no Panthers are coming in to help out, but Kodachi should do an okay job. Still, Panthers would probably help out more, just because they'd be able to very quickly get rid of the Glaives, not have to worry about burning them out. The Reaper's trying to support this Black Dawn, but Razor and the Jethro's together are not going to be enough. Lowry's commander, however, repairing the... He needs to repair this one here, and 
not doing that quite yet. Focused instead on building up more defenders. But this Jethro army is pretty much done. The Reapers are coming around the north side, and the south side is the only safe spot really for Silencer. It doesn't have a whole lot there either. Surprisingly, he has storage. Not sure why he went for that. But he is... Oh boy. He is on the back foot by far. Silencer is falling far behind, and like I said, once Lowry gets a good energy economy, and he's going for it, he's getting a far more wind generators. Once he gets a good energy economy, Overdrive will kick in, and once Overdrive kicks in, my goodness, he's going to need to have a lot of assisting going on in order to use all that metal. He's going to have easily 50 metal once the Overdrive kicks in. Easily. At least that much. And Zeus is coming in. Not doing a great job, unfortunately. They don't quite have enough damage output to get rid of those Kodachis on their own. Lotuses are too much in place to deal with this. This ramp is completely blocked off. The Zeuses cannot really make use of it. If he goes to the Lotus, it will die. That Lotus is not going to last too long, but then the next Lotus, and then the next Lotus, it's still going to be a problem. And the Kodachi is well going to come back here and help out. Burn out that Zeus. Literally, Zeus has so much HP, it's not the biggest deal. But Reapers! Reapers, that is the big deal! If this Razor goes down, that is going to be... I mean, the Factory goes down, it's going to be game. If anything goes down here, it's pretty much going to be game. I think it's... This is game! The Reapers are going to take care of the Factory. If they don't, they'll take care of the Razor. If they do, it's just... Nope, this is it. This is game. Silencer not got much else to work with, and that's it. Lowry moves on. Silencer GG's, and that is game and match. So Lowry is going to be fighting probably Randy. I'm sorry, Flipstep, but probably Randy. But whoever wins between Randy and Flipstep, that's that's the key thing. Whoever wins between Randy and Flipstep is going to be the opponent of Lowry. No, that's not played yet, but yeah. Lowry is... Oh, 2-1. I mean, it's 2-2-1s two for Lowry... Very even games. Glad I got to cast those ones. Also point out that Banana Eye did not last very long. He was second place in second or third place in the 2v2 tournament along with with King Charlie, but this time around, knocked out by Flipstep early on. Which is actually why I'm thinking Flipstep might actually have a halfway decent chance against Randy. I think he's still gonna lose, but you know what? Valiant effort. Make it. Make the valiant effort. That will be impressive. So I'll be back shortly once. The next series is decided. I think that'll be a little while, though, because right now, Silencer and Lowry are going to be... Well, they're done. Randy's waiting for Flipstep. Google Frog's waiting for Dancer and Fred. So I'll see what's happening. Probably Dancer, Fred, and Google Frog will be the next one. So stay tuned for that. I'll be back when I'm back.